from George Mahon on 90. How are you, my beloved friend? Oh, I'm fine. I tell me you want to get back to Lubbock, Texas, and uh, Colorado City, and yeah. uh, meet with all those Birchites yeah, and let them all uh, yes, and let I them won't. all tell you why they're for Goldwater and yeah. depress you. Well, the thing is, I want to be there, get ready for your your trip there on the 20th of October. <laughs> now listen, yeah, yeah. we've been talking about Appalachia. Yeah. Now here's what I propose to do and can do. We'll put $800,000 as requested by the budget for this commission, you know, yeah. that you propose to appoint. Yeah. But we can't, the money can't be spent until the commission is created by law. It isn't authorized. But if it's authorized early next year, we won't have to have a supplemental appropriation. You can give them the money and get them to work immediately. Now, this is a kind of a little backhanded approval. But what we do, that, that, that doesn't do any good for me. That's right going, that's nothing, not, that's not, right not, nothing for no, What we want to do is like we did with REA and like we have done with other agencies. Uh, there's no real opposition to the money for the commission. Charlie Halleck told me he would go along and he would help work it out uh, if we had to have well, a rule. Or, Charlie, right? We had to have a rule of whatever is required to authorize it. Now, what we want to do is this. We want to get the Republican governor of Ohio and the Republican governor of Pennsylvania and the governor of West Virginia and the governor of Virginia, Harrison, and, yeah. and our people, and we want to appoint this commission. I can set it up, I guess, by executive order. You want to appoint uh, the commission? I want to set it up by executive order. And now, and I want to have the money for them to go on and make their preliminary planning and work and their divisions and how they're going to do this with the roads, the Bureau of Public Roads, and what they'll do here. And I, I hate to do it. But uh, uh, if I have a tumultuous election, I might even call them back the 15th sure. to pass, uh, pass uh, medical care and to pass uh, uh, Appalachia and that have already passed the Senate because I don't like to do things over twice that yeah. we've already passed them once uh, over there. And I felt like that if they would give me this money and make it available now, uh, uh, they can make available. Uh, they can make it available in my emergency fund if you want to. Just put the eight hundred thousand dollars extra in my emergency fund. I've had to use a hell of it, a lot of it in uh, Alaska, and I've had to use a lot of it in the poverty. I've been paying them constantly uh, out of the uh, out of the uh, uh, thing because their appropriations been delayed and they they they're planning. Yeah. But I don't want I don't want to get out of here and just say have these fifteen governors on my neck and not be able to pee a drop. Well, uh, now, I, I tell me that uh, in your foreign aid thing, that you passed a foreign aid appropriation uh, by getting a rule and waiving points of order, and then your appropriation's in order. I don't know enough about the House parliamentary thing, but it seems to me that you could do one of two things. Your conferees could uh, change the language that makes this 800 million available, uh, this 800,000 available to... Uh, when authorized, to just cut out when authorized and say it's 800000 for a commission to study this, uh, then I'd create the commission by executive order. Uh, or get a rule making order. I don't care how it's done, just so I can call in the governors. And I won't lose the months of October and November and December and January because nobody's going to kid me into thinking that I'm going to get Appalachia the day we meet. Right. The committee is going to have to be organized and they're going to have to go through all this stuff and the, yeah. the folks are going to stay at home an extra week. And if I'd be damn lucky if I get it in March. Yeah. So I want the commission to do the thorough planning that's necessary and have these... People. Now, my employment, my unemployment is going up every day, and we're claiming that we're doing something about these things. But we did something about poverty, but it's it's up two points since then. It's up, if you'll notice, one-tenth of a percent this month. Again, it's up to 5-2 now. I got it down to 4-9. And things looked good. Everybody had confidence. Everybody was employing. Uh, good business atmosphere. Congress sat on its fanny and did nothing on poverty. And we just sat and waited. And they went ahead in the last bill and it couldn't get through. And they delayed it in the Senate. And I uh, couldn't, any of these young people. So I got none of them employed. So the next thing I knew, it went back to five points. Then last month, it went to 5 1. Now, this month, it's 5-2. It's going right back up, and now I'm going to get a nice little Lulu by election time, uh, where I'll probably wind up by 6 or 7 more Kennedy had it, and I just can't survive that. Now, what you do is, I don't care how you do it. Uh, that's uh, 
Well, they're the goose or the gander. I know this. I know that Buzzin's got an emergency fund. Yeah. And I know you can say that uh, we, we've got these commissions. That they're already meeting. These governors have got their conference. They had this plan before I even came in here. Uh, they had me down to West Virginia and the governor of Georgia and the governor of Virginia. This is not a bunch of crackpots. These are the solidest men in the country. They had Scranton and Rhodes of Ohio yeah. and Scranton of Pennsylvania, governor of West Virginia, who's president of the governor's conference, Governor Harrison of Virginia, Governor Sanders of Georgia, the governor of South Carolina, Donald Russell. Now, give me 800000 for my emergency fund. Give me 800000 for a commission to be created by executive order. Give me 800000 for the Appalachian Commission. Give it to me any damn way you want to. Uh, and uh, just bear this in mind. My first budget was July. Yeah. That's when Johnson's budget came in. Then August is Johnson. That's the first two months. Now, you know how much I spent in July and August? I spent 600 at 56 million less than you and Kennedy spent last July and August. Yeah. Are you listening to that? Yes. Doesn't that shock you? It is shocking and very. If I I can't hold that, I can't hold that. But if I held that, instead of spending a billion dollars less this year, I would spend three billion for this for six two months period. But the budget director's end this morning. And you, your Uncle Lyndon, by holding down on every one of these agencies, tell them not to buy a damn thing you don't have to, yeah. not to replace a person yeah. that quits. I spent in July and August $600 million less than the last July and August. And he said that's the most honest measurement you can make. It's the same month last year. I've got 25,000 less people working for the federal government today than worked when I took over. Well, now. Now, you follow that? I follow that. Now, all I want now is 800,000 for well, yeah, I don't care how you get it. You work out that detail. If I, uh, if I uh, were in a position to sidestep this matter or gloss it over, but I'm right at the uh, the mouth of the gun. and no, I Just take your lead pencil and ask. I have to be just right ask your clerk, say, how can I get this 800,000 of it? I've already talked about it. The House. The Republicans and the Democrats are not going to go along on the beginning of Appalachia and the approval by the appropriation process of the, the appointment of this commission uh, by and then the appropriation of this money. So we can't get Well, now, we Charlie Alec told me this morning. Well, I've just been talking to Well, he told me this morning that he had talked to Frank Bow and he had talked to... Uh, uh, he had talked to Ben Jensen, yes. and that he would go along with me, and I could consider that a commitment. And I said, I want to appoint the commission. I want him to study. He said, now, this is not going to involve a commitment of the billion dollars. I said, no, it commits 800000 And if you don't pass Appalachia, it goes out of existence. If you do pass it, we're ready for it. Yes. Yes. And we do it in planning on everything. I spent to damn near that much on poverty. Yes, well... Uh, I don't believe that uh, that we can get the conferees to agree to this. And you know the Senate will do it because the Senate's ready to do it anyway. The Senate's and, willing to pass this uh, legislation that... Uh, well, you go tell Charlie Halleck, it, it, the president understood him to tell him this morning that he, that he would, would be willing. go for the appoint, uh, uh, providing the funds and the appointment of the commission. He would, uh, he would provide the funds for the Appalachian Commission. And that the Appalachian Commission could... But it would not involve any commitment beyond the, yeah. beyond the commission yeah. uh, on any project. And if it don't, well, God damn it, just put 800000 in my emergency fund, George. Yeah. You give the president whatever he wants for the emergency fund anyway, don't you? Yeah, yeah. All right. But uh, now, do you have... And his Republicans really are stronger for this than I am. You know that 12 of the 14 Republicans, Pennsylvania, for Appalachia? Sure, sure yeah. Now, do you... Do you have any interest in a provision which would provide that in the event of the passage of legislation authorizing the commission, $800,000 would be available? No, it's this no would value. It would be a gesture. It's, it uh, would only hasten the... Uh, the, the uh, that was put in in anticipation that you would pass the authorizing bill. Yeah, yeah. And but what I was going to do is no, say I would be willing... That I was going to tell them that I would favor your adjourning tonight. Yes. Yeah. Uh, or whenever you could adjourn without passing authorization for Appalachia. Yeah. Not hold them here, yeah. get them back to vote on it. Yeah. It's ready to be voted on. It's passed the Senate. It's got a rule. It's passed the House Committee. All you got to do is bring it up and vote on it. But the men are not here. So I didn't want to pull them back. And I said, 
I can't really get the program started anyway until next January. I can get the commission appointed. I can get the conferences held. I can get the plans developed. And I have confidence that we can pass the program if I'm elected. Now, if I'm not elected, I don't give a damn anyway. It can expire. But uh, let me not waste three or four months of human beings. Well, now, you would have a limited, a partial foot in the door proposition with the approval, with the appropriation of the 800,000 contingent upon the passing of the legislation, so it would go into... It would be better than nothing, but it's would a fraud. Would you have that than nothing? Oh, yes. Sure. All sure. Right. But uh, what, what, I think all we but, be Well, no, George, you can put it in my, give it in my emergency fund. I'll try. I'll try. Just go in there and just say to them that I'm going to set this up by executive order, and I want an emergency fund to do it, and I don't want to do it the deficiency and send you up a deficiency. I need it now. And Halleck agreed with me to do it. But you see... I called him. That's the only thing I called him about this session. I called him this morning. And he said, now, I would not want to commit a billion dollars. I said, you commit 800000 But I want that, and I want what I can spend it. He said he'd go with me, and he'd talk to Ben Jensen and, and uh, uh, Frank Bow. Well, if, uh, of course, if they'll do this, if they'll agree to this, but uh, they haven't agreed to it with Well, me. go on, sell it to them. If you can't get 800000 my God, I'll get Clarence Cannon back here from heaven. <laughs> 800000 well, is chicken okay, feed. When you just point out to them that your president has spent $656 million less yeah. than was spent in a comparable time, now, I'll have to debate about 800000 Well, now, uh... Who do you want me to talk to after we've come to some resolution? Whoever you need to, if you need to. No, I'm talking uh, about down there. Me? Call me. Well, I'm ready. I, 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 this I, I, is an important thing. These are doubtful you. states. These are Pennsylvania. These are Ohio. And it's just much to them. He, he'll yeah. tell you He'll tell you it's very much to their interest. I'll have Charlie Haddock, and, uh, and uh, I'll get in touch with Charlie Haddock, and uh, Carl Albert, and we'll talk it over. Right. They'll agree. I'll right. do it. Okay. Okay. That's it.